Welcome to Building 101, Empire in the Sky. This is the demo version of Empire in the Sky and will be available in August of 2012. Basically, we're going to go over how to build your own starship. If you click the blue fabricator button, the fabricator panel appears. And the fabricator panel shows you all of your blueprints that you can fabricate. Now in the demo version, money does not matter. So you'll be able to experiment. Basically, click new uh, to create a new blueprint. Or if you select one from the list, you can fabricate it. Or you can redesign it, which creates a copy of it that you can then manipulate. I'm going to click the new button and take you through the various uh, editors to show you how you make a ship and a weapon and all the things that you need to construct a new starship. So, first of all, the list down here is of the components that you can select. And in this window, which is on the upper left, this is the front view, I'm sorry, the top view, and the uh, side view is to the right and it tells you what direction the front is in it also identifies the views up here if you click the locking and unlocking icon you can move around parts of the GUI to get it out of the way temporarily I'd also like to mention that in this particular version that I'm recording there is a small bug that will be fixed which is a button in the lower right hand corner is barely visible on the screen that's the done button which either aborts a blueprint that has not enough parts or it will save the blueprint and allow you to fabricate it. So I'm going to relock the GUI so that uh, the money counter is out of the way. Down here is the list of components that we have already. We're going to create a new one. Uh, you'll note that because nothing is in either of these top two windows that means that you cannot select um, anything but a hull or a building foundation inside uh, this list right now. But you can create any type of component. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new hull, but you could create whatever you want. When you click the new button, here's the menu. And inside the menu, uh, you are selecting what type of item you're going to describe to the fabricator. A hull is a part of the uh, ship that is the body or fuselage. There's the weapon. Uh, foundation is of course the body of a building if you will. Uh, a weapon which is stuck onto a hull. A launch system which is like a weapon uh, but launches a missile or fighter. Uh, then there's, uh, and can also launch um, troop transport pods that are for entering other ships, uh, like crew containing torpedoes. Um, so then a tractor beam, now this particular option may move into the weapon editor, uh, but uh, a tractor beam is not fully implemented yet, uh, won't be available in the demo, but will allow you to move things around and collect larger asteroids. Here we have locomotion. Um, locomotion is a thruster and is an integral part of creating a starship so we'll be making one of those. There's also the commodity which is just to assemble something that can be then sold uh, in, a, in a trading scenario. So let's uh, look at hull creation. Now once I click that, we're in the component editor. Up here it says component. The first thing you want to do is rename it. Uh, and this will kind of set the pace for what you're going to be creating. Um, we're going to call this the, um, the uh, dreadnought. So uh, we've named it. Now you can do this later. You don't have to do it first. but. Uh, uh, it's the Dreadnought class. So let's go to the top side boxes. You can click on these and it will then enter the model editor. Down here we have the brush which is a fancy word for the thing that will appear when you click. Here we're going to add this shape. 
and you can see it kind of looks like a gas tank or something. Uh, you can change the color by rotating the mouse wheel and you, if you click the middle button it will randomly change the color but I happen to like that one. So we're going to put that in there. Now you can see here there's the top down view and then on the right there's the preview which is 3D and uh, you can rotate this around to take a look at it just by mousing over it or using your finger if this is on a mobile device but there's no current plan for a mobile version. The top down view allows you to see it as it will appear on the screen when you're flying around. Uh, it's useful for building buildings of a certain you know, appearance uh, for attaching them to structures for instance. And here there's a button that allows you to place a tech point. A tech point indicates where, for instance, uh, something is coupled. Uh, the only thing that is coupled currently is the thruster is coupled to the main ship. You need at least one to complete a hull. Uh, the second uh, icon is, or the other icons available are, for instance, on this particular model type which is hull you can create a light uh, you can create a hard point so let's go ahead and add one hard point here so I just clicked and it added it and I can add multiple hard points you can have up to 10 hard points but only one coupler let's add the coupler here so this is where you're going to attach a thruster and uh, let's let's just uh, add a couple more uh, models real quick to make it look a little bit more like a dreadnought class starship or whatever that means so uh, we're going to add this round thing uh, and because I've added the round thing I'll need to then move the uh, tech point coupler uh, so you can see down here now we have this shape uh, it's off center so we're going to add some stuff on the other side to even it out a little bit just visually so I'm going to add this uh, this part here and then uh, this thing so now you have this kind of thing going on now you can rotate these if you hit the middle mouse button while selecting that shape so um, I'm going to rotate this uh, now when you first click it it rotates it based on whatever view you're using so I had rotated it but it, you couldn't see it, that it rotated because it's round but from this side you can see I've turned it on its side if you use the mouse wheel you can make it bigger and you can modify the way it makes it bigger or smaller or rotates by holding down control alt or shift just like in one of those expensive programs uh, I just deleted the object by right clicking I'm going to add it again but this time I'm going to make it look a little different okay now we've got this thing and that's pretty good there's only five um, brushes used you can use up to 10 but uh, that looks pretty good uh, now I'm going to add another uh, hard point all I have to do is click and make sure that it's uh, got a box around it that says that it's going to be writing points to it like that so we're going to add another one here uh, right there and right over there um, there we go so now there's six hard points. Uh, I'll add one more. Let's see. I'll put one right here, and then I'm gonna move it up uh, on top of uh, that that thing, that uh, one part of the ship. So now I moved it in the one view so that it was sitting on top of uh, the thing in this view. So you can kind of see there. It's gonna look something like that. I'm gonna click done, and then I'm gonna click done again. You can see that the preview has changed here. We'll click done again. And uh, it's still blank here on this main screen because it didn't add that as the base. So when you're building a blueprint, before we were creating a component, now we're back to that blueprint editor. And the blueprint editor allows you to um, basically select a hull or uh, foundation and then use it as a base for other parts to be added. So here we have, uh, you can zoom this with the mouse wheel. Uh, the hard points are a little off center right now, but uh, you can still use uh, the 
you know the in fact it needs I think it needs to have a, a few numbers added to it but uh, basically you can add things to these hard points so there's a little glitch there I apologize it's an early version anyway um, let's make a weapon so now the list shows weapons and thrusters or locomotions which allow you to kind of you know pick from things already I happen to have a thruster and I have several guns created but we're gonna create a brand new one so let's click new and uh, now that we've got new uh, we're gonna do a weapon uh, now there's several different types of weapons the ones that are working right now are the uh, the bullet the beam and the blaster so the blaster is what we're gonna make and uh, over here on the right I can control these sliders which allow me to set uh, the settings around this particular weapon uh, change the type of uh, graphics that are going into creating this bullet which is right here so uh, I can also set the projectile speed and the firing rate of the gun but before I'm done here I have to click this button uh, again the top and side preview and I actually have to create a gun or else it won't save my changes to the weapon so uh, I'm just gonna throw together a gun real quick uh, you can see I uh, was just muddling with that you can uh, hold down the alt and use the middle mouse button to rotate this like that on the left uh, view there and now we've got something that looks kind of like a mounted gun uh, now we could place multiple emission points from this gun and uh, we can also uh, make a, um, a uh, what do you call it uh, a spread weapon so here we have uh, two barrels I'm just going to add an emitter point to the end of each barrel and then you click done and you can click done again or you can further work on this uh, there's a double slider here so you use the right and left mouse buttons to set the extents of this slider and you can use the uh, up and down scroll wheel to change the way that the uh, the flare is added the flare channel is rendered it fades in and out based on that waveform so you can uh, adjust your bullets appearance that way so now we've got something that looks pretty cool it's very subtle you have to see it very close you can see in the upper right also uh, there's a uh, uh, rads infrared nions and temperature and this is kind of an indicator of what your settings are going to produce the type of weapon uh, and the type of damage let's click done here all right i'm going to uh, assign these weapons uh, this new weapon and i did not name it but i could have i forgot to it gets the generic name of component uh, so now you can stick uh, the gun on these hard points so we've got three back there uh, I happen to have other guns, so I'm going to mix them with one other gun type. And I'm just going to put those here. Uh, and now we've got all six guns filled. And the only thing we need now, and it's kind of optional, is the thruster. Uh, let's go with new. We're going to create a locomotion. And we're going to build into this a, um, a little thruster component. that kind of looks like that and this will be added uh, to the ship now let me remind you to place one emitter here which allows you to tell it where the smoke comes out of um, we have experimented with multiple emitters there but uh, right now you can only do one so when you're done doing that you can name it up here um, just call it see I already have an ion drive so we'll call this one the uh, nuclear propulsion uh, and we'll click done so we need it that and done again and then you've got uh, that uh, let's see things are a little slow there's some optimizations that have to occur uh, on this uh, panel before or uh, you know, around the time I release it uh, so we're gonna put that right there 
And then this button is not visible, but there is a done button over here. I'm just going to click that. And now um, we're back on the uh, fabricator panel. We picked out the new ship that we created with the new guns and the new thruster. We click fabricate. Click the uh, three boxes in the bottom, which is your cargo. And uh, the nano cargo has a. Uh, a copy of your dreadnought in it. You can click switch to this ship and now uh, close your cargo panel and you've got your brand new ship uh, that you just made with the new guns you can go try it out on some enemies. So this concludes our broadcast day. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you'll help support Empire in the Sky. Thanks a lot.